Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a midge soft tackle emerger pattern inspired by Blue Ribbon Flies. Um, they use a two-tone color thread. We're going to use one thread. We're going to use Semperfly's Classic Wax. This is a great value to tie this way. Gives you more color options and choices as well. So. With that, I want to make sure and invite you to like the video, make sure you leave us a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to receive future notifications. With that, we'll go ahead and get started, and we'll put the hook in the vise. Tonight, we're gonna to be tying on the ML102. This is the Tagata Series Premium Competition Barbless Hook. We're tying this in a size 18. The size 20 hooks are on their way. They're coming very soon and would be a great choice as well, as well as a 16. If you wanna try a 20 right now, the ML052s are on clearance and a great choice as well. So my thread, I'm gonna start right about three quarters of the way behind or on that shank. And I've got a nice little tag end I'm using Semperfly's Classic Wax 12 aught claret colored thread. And we're just going to wrap that back to the bend of the hook. You can see I've got a tag end, and I'm going to set that off to the side. Okay, now I'm just going to create a little bit of a taper to this fly with my thread. So I'm going to go back up to the starting point. Then we'll go rearward about three quarters of the way. And then forward again. Back rearward about halfway. Forward. And one more time, we're going to go about quarter of the way and back up. Now we're going to half hitch this and set it off here so I can use my rotary feature. Okay, I'm going to take this tag end of thread, I've got it in my little hackle pliers. Now I'm going to take an alcohol marker or a sharpie marker and I'm going to color this with either a dark gray or a black. Now I'm just going to spin this counterclockwise just a few times. And then I'm just going to wrap this and create a nice ribbed look and give that multiple color tones. This claret's a really good color for these midges. Secure that down, pull it back, secure it off with one locking wrap in front. Now I'm just going to trim that out. For the dubbing, I'm going to use Semperfly's Kapok dubbing in black, and I'm just going to create a nice little dubbing rope here. You can see that this Kapok dubbing goes on really, really fine, really tight. Now I'm just going to take and create my thorax here. And you notice I'm not going back up over my bear hook there. I'm still leaving that quarter of my hook shank there bare for my hackle. Now I'm just going to wrap it forward and back and create a nice base as I tie in my hackle. My hackle is Whiting Farms Black Hen Cape. I've taken a 
feather. You can see there's the tip and the base. I'm going to take and tie in that base where I have my bare stem. Crank that down and stand it up. Now I'm just going to trim off that little stem piece on the bottom. Okay. Now we'll take our hackle pliers and we're going to give two or three wraps. I like three, but two wraps would work great. And we're going to Palmer this hackle rearward with each wrap. You can see that my hackle fibers go back to about the back part of side of my body. So now I've secured that down with two wraps. I'm going to pull it all back and secure it down in front. Now I'm going to take my whip finish tool and we'll do one, two, three turn whip. Now I'm going to do another one one, two, three. Okay, I like to take my razor blade, I just stick it up there and then I can pop that off nice and clean. For good measure, we're gonna take and put a little bit of head cement on here. And this is just to help secure that knot. I like to take the hook point of another hook and I'll just make sure that I get that cleaned out. Give it a little blow. And that's your claret colored midge soft tackle emerger pattern. Very, very effective for picky trout that are sipping fish off of the surface but are refusing your dry fly midge. This is going to be the perfect choice for that. So you made it this far. I want to say thank you. It means an awful lot to me. Make sure you've hit the like button. Make sure you've left us a comment. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications. And we look forward to tying for you again next week. Have a wonderful evening.